Hello, Anya Keister here. I am back from a long YouTube break because I had a lot of stuff going on in my life. I am now located in sunny and very chilly Boulder, Colorado uh, in my new studio, as you can see from this wonderful wall. So hopefully I'll be able to churn out some more content. Uh, I hope to do a video every day for October, so let's see, this is going to be the first one. And I am excited because it is October, I have my my mug of warm autumn harvest tea. I have started breaking out the sweaters and sweatshirts already here in Colorado because it's very cold. And I am here to talk to you about some of my Halloween finds that I've found. So since moving here, uh, you know, I'm still trying to get a lay of the land and figure out what I can find. So these finds today are from three different stores, uh, Home Goods, Target, and King Super. <laughs> no, <laughs> King Super is a supermarket under the Kroger umbrella. So some of these items, if you have a Kroger near you or maybe something else that's owned by a Kroger, you might be able to find them. But let's start. So uh, Home Goods is a store that's located under the umbrella of Marshalls, I believe. They basically sell a lot of like weird random stuff. Stores where, you know, a few random items or maybe things that are no longer in season or things that they have too much of, they have. I have two different items I was able to find there. Uh, you're gonna see a theme with a lot of my stuff. I've recently gotten really into ghosts. Those of you who may know me a little bit more personal know that ghosts have uh, an affinity with my heritage. I know that sounds weird, but it really does make sense. Uh, so I've always really loved ghosts and ghost stories and things about ghosts. As a kid, I thought I was a ghost hunter. Um, I loved telling ghost stories at sleepovers and things like that. So a lot of my stuff here is ghosty themed. So with that, let's start with the first item. Our first item here is this beautiful spooky ghost hand soap. You can see in the back here. I hope this is in focus. Happy Ghost Hand Soap. Now, I know what you're wondering is, what does a happy ghost smell like? The happy ghost kind of smells like soap. It, it's got some like, fragrance in here that it doesn't really say what it is. Give your hardworking hands a treat with this cleansing and hydrating hand soap. The themed hand wash is perfect for decorating your home or office for Halloween while leaving your hands feeling clean and smelling great. Thanks soap for giving no description of what you smell like. I basically just got it because it was, I want to say like four dollars and most of the other soaps at the home goods were, were six or more. There's a lot of pumpkin. If you go to a home goods store, I'm sure you're gonna find a lot of pumpkin soap right now. And it's just something kind of cute. I just moved, I need hand soap. And I just wanted one that was kind of cute. I can always reuse the bottle later if I need to for other items. I can just peel off the, the happy ghost or cut around it or something like that. The second item that I found at home goods was this mug. Now, it might be a little hard for you to kind of see exactly what's going on here, but what it is is it's a clear outer part, and then the inner part that you actually drink out of is kind of like a purple skull. I didn't even realize that this had a skull inside of it until it brought it home. It also has this very cute stripey straw. And, and you know, it packs a good amount of liquid. One of the things I've learned here out in Boulder is because it's an arid climate, uh, is that I get really dehydrated really fast. I wake up with chapped lips, a lot of nosebleeds, things like that. So I've been trying to up the amount of liquid I've been drinking. And these cups have been a great way to do it. So uh, those are my two Halloween finds from Home Goods. Let's move on to Target. Now at Target, you can always find a lot of really cute stuff around Halloween. Uh, once again, I was really into ghosts this year, so I was going heavily with my ghost theme. Uh, so I bought a few different items from there. In the dollar bin area, 
uh, for one dollar was this very cute little ghosty notepad. Um, it does have a magnet on the back, which is great because you can put it right on a fridge or in a locker or anything like that. Cute little ghost. Guys, cute little curly cute hair on the top. Yeah, and it was just a dollar. So, you know, I, I don't know about you. I'm a person that it, it's often helpful for me to physically write down a list rather than typing it on a phone. So having this cute little ghosty notepad is great. And I love it too, because it's not especially super Halloween. That was one of the things I was trying to find was things that I could just keep in my house all year long, because uh, I love me and my ghosts. So this is one that I definitely can. Now, the next item I was really excited to get, and it was kind of on a risk, but it is this ghost neon light. Uh, when I bought it, it was $5. When I bought it, I didn't know what color it was going to light up, and I was really, really hoping it wasn't going to be orange, uh, because as you can see, I kind of have this like pastel, goth, black, pastel kind of thing going on, uh, and I was like, ah, if it's orange, it's going to really ruin the color scheme, but it's not. There's not light bulbs in it. That was very anticlimactic. What it does is it glows kind of like a, a soft white. So this is one that I can just kind of put in the guest room. Uh, for people to use as a nightlight, or just for fun. It's just kind of a cute little ghost. Neon light. I don't know. I like neon lights. I think it's very cute. And it was just five bucks. The next item from Target is... Ugh, this hat. Now, this one was three dollars. I needed a new witch's hat for Halloween because the one I had didn't make the move. And it also wasn't super great. I got it from like a thrift store or something. So, uh, as you can see, it's a little big for me. Um, I don't think I'm going to get much use out of it as a hat that I can wear just on my head, but I think I'll be able to do some good photo shoot looks with this uh, with a big wig underneath, which I'm very excited about. But you know, it's, it's fairly durable. I was able to carry it around. The top collapses pretty well for storage. You know, for three bucks, pretty good Halloween find. I was also very excited about this little ghost statue. As you can hear, he is ceramic. He was three dollars. Um, he does have a little light up where you can see. I don't know if we can get this in the light. I'm trying to get it. He does glow uh, with kind of like an alternating light underneath. It does have a switch though, so he can also just be a cute little porcelain figurine. I'm going to do a different video about thrift store hauls uh, where I found another cute ceramic ghost that actually kind of kicked off all of this ghostiness that I was into. But this one's really cute. He's going to look great on a shelf and he's very sturdy. As a person who has cats in their house. I'm always really scared about the cats knocking things off. So this is a nice firm base. So we're going good with that one. And the final item that I got at Target was this cute little witchy hat. It was a dollar. I kept all the tags on so so you can see, but it's it's just kind of a cute little witchy fascinator. Um I imagine I'll just use it for like a photo shoot. It was a dollar once again, so I'm gonna like, I know it doesn't work super well with my pomp, but it's a cute little headband. It'd be nice for just like kind of going out if you want it to, you know, be a little spooky. The quality isn't super great. Uh, it's like a, a pretty regular headband. This is just felt. Um, it's got like a glitter felt on it. Uh, you know, it's not super amazing, but heck, for a dollar, why not? Little witchy little witchy hat and then you could do like a nice reveal of like uh, okay so I forgot that I also got some items at Michael's a lot of these are going to be used um, at some of my upcoming shows as raffle prizes but I did want to mention that much like that skull cup I got one of these 
So the fun one about this is that there is, I don't know if you guys could see that. There is some loose glitter between the two layers. So um, you do get some fun movement with it. I'm not super soaked about the color scheme. Like I said, I wanted to kind of stay away from oranges as they're not like my favorite color. But um, I liked the purple and it says the ghostest with the mostest. Uh, I am disappointed. So they had a bunch of these. They had like some witch ones and I think just like skeletons or haunting in general. Uh, I don't remember how much this cost. I'll look it up and I'll like put the price here. Um, so it wasn't a whole lot. And once again, I need more cups because of the move and needing hydration. Uh, but like I said, I was kind of bummed that this didn't actually have a ghost on it. They didn't have much in the way of ghosts. They just had a lot of other skeletons and witches and stuff like that. But, you know, cute. Got the nice Halloween stripey straw. Okay, and then finally, King Super, my new local grocery store, had an amazing assortment of items. Um, there were some that were some Day of the Dead, which isn't a thing that I personally feel comfortable doing as a person who's Caucasian. Uh, I mean, I love Day of the Dead. I think it's a beautiful thing to celebrate. Uh, I spent some time in Mexico uh, learning about it and researching it, but it's not my thing to decorate with per se. Uh, but if it is, they do have some stuff there. Uh, but they have a wide arrangement of super cute uh, ghost stuff. So uh, the first one I'm gonna show you is this tea towel. Let's get spooky. Has the cute little ghost right here. Oh, he's so cute. And this is a really soft towel, actually. I feel a lot of times you get like tea towels and they're just very thin. Uh, you can't really use them for cleaning much stuff up. But this is a pretty good sizable towel, uh, nice and plush, great. And I can keep it all year round because it's not specifically Halloween. Uh, in the same vein, I got this dish. Let's look at all these ghosties. Oh my God, they're so cute. A wide arrangement of ghosts. I don't remember how much the towel was. This dish was $7. It's plastic. It's pretty durable. It's kind of a pain in the butt to store because it's so big. But um, I love that it's like mm, all kinds of different ghosts. All kinds of cute little ghosts. I love it so much. Now, going along with that, uh, they had these jars, right? So they're nice because you have a flat bottom that, you have a side one, but the best thing was look at the topper. Oh my gosh. Look at this little ghosty dude. He's so cute. I love he has these little blue accents on the bottom here. Oh, they are so adorable. Uh, they do come with this little black ribbon if you want to keep it on for decoration. But, you know, it's just a simple... It's a little bit... I will say it's a little bit harder with the ribbon on. Actually, I think the ribbon is holding it shut. So let's take the ribbon off. But, yeah. It's a nice ceramic top. This is, that's solid. This is glass. Um, super cute for storing all kinds of stuff that you would need throughout the year. And along with this one, I got this one, which currently is filled with rice. <laughs> but this one is an oh my goth one. Same ceramic top, same glass base that you can store this way or this way. Um, I took the tops off of them, so I'll have to try to find the price. If I can, I'll put the price right here. But I, if I remember correctly, these were a little bit more expensive, but they were worth it because they're really functional. They're not just decorations. These can stay in my kitchen all year long, uh, and I love that about them. Good, solid storage. Oh my god. And the, the final item, hearkening back to... If you remember the towel, uh, same one is a mug. It's currently storing my asparagus. <laughs> um, but you can see it's the Let's Get Spooky mug. Same little pirate, 
uh, ghost. They didn't have a mug that was just this pirate ghost with kind of like a taper top that was cute, but um, I really liked the Let's Get Spooky. And mainly the thing that I love about this is, I'm gonna take the asparagus out for a second so I can try to show you the inside color. It's a, a beautiful kind of minty green, uh, which is one of my favorite colors. And if you compare the size, here is like our regular sized mug, and here's this one. So you can see it's a taller mug, it's a wider mug, it's gonna hold more of your beverage. Uh, and this was nice and sturdy. During the move, I lost three of my mugs, so I was excited. I'm a big, I'm a big mug person. Uh, even though I don't drink coffee, I just love mugs and the personalities behind them. So this was a great find. My let's get spooky mug. Let's get spooky. Ooh. Um, yeah. So that was it for my haul that I have to share with you all. Um, I wanted to do this really early in the month. So if you liked any of these things, you could try to go buy them or purchase them or find them before they sell out. I have a feeling the Target stuff will probably be in stock for a while. Uh, the Michael stuff as well. The home goods. Like I said, it's just a, a kind of a fun store to go in there, see if there's anything you like. I think I went into my home goods store like three times and I only purchased things once, but there's a lot. There's a lot of variety and it's kind of cool because there's only so much of it. Um, and if you have a King Super or a Kroger near you, check out that Halloween section before it gets bought out because uh, geez Louise, they got some cute Halloween stuff going on. Uh, that I think you will love. So that's gonna be it for me uh, today. Like I said, I'm hoping to get out a video every day of October. It's ambitious, but I wanted to get way back into this now that I have uh, a studio that I can film in. So if you are liking this one, uh, do that YouTube razzmatazz, like, subscribe, comment uh, if you find any really good Halloween stuff that you think I should look into, especially if it's cute ghosts. I love my ghosts. Um, yeah, link that down below and uh, subscribe. I, I hope to be doing a lot of this. So uh, thank you all so much and have a good day. Bye. Ooh.